All right, here's a little update or progress report on the, the damage. This is what it looks like. Uh, I only had three layers of this um, quarter inch plywood um, glued together. And that's the other layer. It, it kind of delaminated between layers one and two. Um, but together this only, uh, it was only three quarters of an inch, not enough. And this whole styrofoam panel was an afterthought after I had completely sealed this, this area. Um, I realized there's still curvature in that section and I thought that if it hit waves it would uh, break. So I created, that's when I created this hatch so that I could uh, get inside there and reinforce it. Um, this is a piece of expanded polystyrene and I didn't have a way of pushing it down so I just put this piece of wood in there and then I put that in there to, to uh, have something to screw to. Um, anyway this this whole compartment was like poorly thought out. I just wasn't really thinking clearly that day. Um, an interesting thing to note is when I had my mast in this front hole here, uh, the, 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 the rudder was completely unresponsive. I mean, it was really awful. And, uh, luckily I had another option. I put it in that and then it was totally fine. And the thing about this is there's only four inches between those two positions. So that right there made the whole difference between not sailing at all and sailing perfectly well. Uh, that, that's quite interesting. To note, um, this is also an afterthought. It was poorly thought out. Um, I was thinking, well, you know, this section is relatively flat, but if I hit some kind of rock or something, it could puncture it. So I, I I screwed that to the bottom and it wasn't fitting the curve. There's a slight curvature in there. So I, I tried to pour epoxy in there, but it didn't quite seal it off. And then I realized, oh my gosh, this thing is heavy. So I drilled a bunch of holes in it. And then, uh, then water started filling in these holes. So uh, that was poorly thought out, completely um, not working. And so I have to remove that as well and uh, do something other than that. Probably two thinner strips, one here and one here going across and and then um, just make sure that it's um, painted and primed properly. So the interesting thing is, I measured the distance between the front of the dagger board and the middle of the mass hole on the sunfish and it was 30. 32 and a half inches, so here we go. That's, so mine is like within an inch of the sunfish. Now the reason I um, made two holes is because on a sunfish, the sunfish has really bad uh, weather helm. So weather helm causes the boat to turn into the wind, so that means that the sail relative to the dagger board is rather far back. So that's why I made two holes, because I, I wanted to have an option to uh, counter the weather helm um, but for some reason my boat did not have weather helm and I think it has to do with the efficiency of my my dagger board it, it's a better shape than the sunfish dagger board and the mass was basically in transport the mass sits here and uh, this paint was only a couple days old and it's supposed to take a week to cure so that got all chewed up anyway Lessons learned. I'm just gonna entirely remove this panel and start over with that compartment. And uh, I think I could knock it out in a couple days and then repaint everything and uh, seal everything and then be back on the water in about a, uh, two weeks. A couple more notes here. This blue pad was actually stuck to the bottom of my hull uh, for the whole day and it only popped loose when the mast came down. I guess the, the shock of the mast hitting the deck maybe jarred it or something. 
Anyway, so this thing was stuck to the bottom of my hull and it's, uh, it's a half inch thick and it's two foot by four foot. And uh, so that was slowing me down. Um, the other thing is uh, the paper here got a little bit wet um, because there was a torrential downpour uh, driving back. It was like hailing and the boat filled up with two inches of water again, uh, just taking it back to our house. Um, so I just immediately took it off the trailer and stuck it in our in my shop to dry out. And uh, so there was a tiny crack here and water got in there. And that's why this paper got fouled. So I'm just gonna roll some, uh, it, after it dries, I'm gonna roll some epoxy on that and then repaint it. And uh, I gotta fill this crack. It's just tiny little crack and that's all it takes. 